My disclaimer. Hi everyone and welcome back to Low Carb Crazy. I am Diane and this is my health and wellness channel. Today I have something different for you as you can tell from the thumbnail. I um, contacted a company called Keto Chow to see if I could do a review for them because I was highly interested in their products and I thought that maybe some of my viewers would be as well. And being on the ketogenic lifestyle or low carb lifestyle, you all know that it is very hard to find a good meal replacement. So um, I've tried many different shakes out there, you know, and none of them really were for me. So I'm praying and hoping that Keto Chow will do it for me because I'm very, very fussy. Yeah, I am. So let's see how Keto Chow does uh, for my crazy taste buds and um, stay tuned if you wanna find out. Okay, so this is the package that I received in the mail. Um, as you can see, it's a priority mail package, um, just your basic package. And this is the address that it came from. Of course, I crossed out some names and stuff there. Got to have a little privacy. So um, I'm just going to cut this open with my scissors because I don't want to like rip it. I'd rather just cut it, make it nice and neat. And I see it looks like a package within a package. Let me pull this out. Oh, okay. This is the starter flavor bundle. It's all kind of like in one pack, I think. Let me look in here. Oh, I have some business cards. Very cool. I'll put those down. And then I'm, let's see what else is in there. Oh, okay. It looks like I have some sort of letter. Okay. Very cool, very cool. So to start off, I really like this starter flavor bundle package. I think it's pretty cool. Um, I'm assuming they fit everything in there that I'm supposed to try. So, um, oh yeah, hello, keto friend. Okay, this ought to be interesting, guys. This was also inside the bag. I didn't see it at first. It looks like some sort of guide, how to make the shakes and things like that. Okay, so to look at the back of the package, I noticed that you have nutrition facts right there and also a how-to chart shows you how to make the shakes properly. This is very cool. Okay, time to open up this beautiful package. And uh, oh, look at this. It has a really pretty blue blender bottle in there. I think that's one of those blender bottles for shakes. Oh, yep, it is, it is. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Very, very cute. I like it. Oh, and a vanilla shake, yes. Also a strawberry shake. And a salted caramel. Oh my gosh, that looks good. I can't wait to try that one. We got our chocolate. Oh my gosh, look at this, guys. We got vanilla, chocolate, salted caramel. That looks so good. And strawberry. And I think inside the blender bottle there was also one in there. Oh, let me see, it says snickerdoodle, I think. Yeah, let me open this. I'm opening and opening. Oh, it says keto chow. Keto made easy. I love that, or make keto easy. Genuine. Oh, cool, look at this. I love this blender bottle. It's, yeah. They're really cool. These are very strong. It's made very well. And um, inside there's a snickerdoodle one. Oh wait, there's two. Wait, wait, wait. Snickerdoodle's the first one. Okay, and I didn't know there was two in that bottle. And a mocha. Okay, coffee lovers, coffee lovers. Okay, so here is the whisk ball for inside the blender bottle. I love this keto uh, blender bottle because it has the name keto chow on it. It's really cute and I love the top Okay, so now that we have everything in place, I think we should get started Okay, so on the back of this package It says that I can use one fourth cup of avocado oil and today I'm choosing to use my thrive market avocado oil 
and I'm gonna be putting that right into the blender bottle here. All right, like so. Next, I'm going to be opening the package. Here we go, this is the vanilla. I'm gonna put that right into, um, oh, and by the way, I'm pointing at this thing because they have a very easy to open packaging system with these little sample packets. Very easy, look at that. You just, you just rip it right open and there you go. So I got the oil in the cup already and now I'm putting the, the powder in there. All right, and it says to use, I think, let me see. It says use 14 ounces of water. So I'm gonna add 14 ounces of water into the cup. I got my pull and spring water. I love pull and spring water. And I'm pouring it into um, the bottle. I'm trying to measure it myself here. <laughs> I'm eyeballing it. Uh, that looks about right. That should be right. Might be a little less. A little less than, but that's okay. So I'm just going to put the lid back on. And what do you do next when you got all the ingredients? Close that lid. Make sure you hear the snap. If it doesn't snap, it's not closed. Ugh, there you go. Got to use a little muscle. There it is. Now it got to shake it. You can, there you go. Shake, 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 Sinora. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Let's get that keto shake going. Yes, baby, yes. All right, there we go. We're all ready to go into the fridge. So into the fridge we go. All right, 30 minutes. You saw the opening. Now this is the very first one that I just took out of the fridge. I did, it says to leave it in for 30 minutes or the best is overnight. So the longer you keep it in the fridge, the better the taste is or the better the consistency. I'm not sure, but they did say 30 minutes to overnight is fine. So I left it in for an hour because I put it in at 11 and it is now 12. So I'm still going to shake it a little bit. So this is my very first uh, taste and these things are hard to open. Let me tell you, you have to have like strong hands. So I'm just gonna sip it right through this cute little bottle they gave us. I love this, okay, let's see. Now I have to say, first off the bat, no grittiness, it's very smooth, very creamy. I don't taste any um, weird funky aftertaste. It's very, very vanilla-ish. This is the vanilla one. It tastes very, very vanilla. Van I could definitely taste the vanilla. Um, it has a nice smooth taste. Um, the sweetness is not overly done and it's not underdone. It's just kind of perfect, actually, which is amazing. Um, it smells really good. Uh, it doesn't have a stinky smell like some of them have. It's not terrible, but it's not like great. It, it smells like a shake. It smells like any other shake I've pretty much smelled. Some of them smell really terrible, but this one is just average. Um, but the taste is pretty good. I'm a big fan of vanilla usually, but um, for some reason, I'm not crazy about this vanilla, but it's okay. Like it's doable. If I needed to, um, have a quick breakfast in the morning. I definitely would grab this. It's not bad and it's definitely edible. <laughs> I am very fussy guys, I told you. So um, yeah, vanilla shake is, it gets, let's see, let's do a rating between one and five stars. One being the lowest amount of stars and five being the highest. I give this a four. So that's pretty good. Four is really good for me. And uh, especially, since Okay, so to make my strawberry shake, I said, ooh, heavy whipping cream and strawberries. So strawberries and cream kind of thing going on, I hope. So I have my, it says half a cup. It calls for half a cup when you use the heavy whipping cream, which I think is a lot. 
a half a cup, but that's what it says, so I'm using it. So I'm pouring half a cup into the um, the blender bottle, and uh, yep, then I'm going to put the strawberry mixture in there, close my lid there, and uh, it's very easy to open these packages, very easy. See, you just shake it, and the corner has that little strip, you just pull it, there you go, put it right in there, like so, and put your 14 ounces of water in there. I actually measured it this time <laughs> and put this nice pretty blue lid on make sure the top is totally down and snapped into place and then shake 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 yes shake it up shake it good now shake it good now <laughs> yes you, your arm gets a workout with this absolutely my arms are stronger. Okay, so now it's time to try the strawberry. I'm a little bit anxious about this one, guys, because I'm not into strawberry shakes at all. Um, however, I do like some flavored strawberry things, but I'm not really into shakes. I have tried some other health shakes with strawberry flavor, and it's like, ugh. So, I'm crossing my fingers on this one, but I'm doing this for you guys, because I love you. All right, here we go. Love, love. Okay, it smells like strawberry quick when we were kids. Do you remember that stuff? Strawberry quick? They, I think they still make that. It smells good. It smells pretty good. I'm going in. And I'll, oh, by the way, you saw me make this with the cream instead of the avocado oil like I did with the, the, the vanilla one. So this will have a different taste, I'm sure. It's really good, really smooth, really creamy. This one's a little thicker and I think it's a little bit thicker. The consistency is thicker because I left it in the refrigerator a lot longer than the vanilla. But I have to say, I'm going to give it four stars because I don't like strawberry uh, flavored shakes and I'm really digging this. So yeah, I like it. Good stuff. No okay, so this time I'm going to try the chocolate shake. I had this in the fridge for a few hours and um, I did put the heavy whipping cream. It's like a half a cup of heavy whipping cream and then I think it's 16 ounces of water and you just mix it, put it in the fridge. So let's try it. I'm not really a huge chocolate fan. I like it, but I'm not crazy about it. Oh, man. Got to have muscle to open this thing. Okay. Bottoms up. It smells really good. It tastes really good. It's not overly chocolatey. It's not under chocolate. They like. I noticed they have a really good balance. What Keto Chow has done is made a very good shake that's not too sweet, not overpowering on the flavors, and it goes down nice and smoothly. And it smells, smells decent. I can smell the chocolate definitely and the protein powder. It smells good. It tastes good. The consistency is like, actually that's, that's the number one thing I like about it is the consistency. Like it doesn't taste, I mean, it doesn't give you that gritty feeling in the mouth. It's very good, very good. And uh, I'll be chugging this for sure. I'll be drinking the whole thing down for lunch today. So let's see what the next one brings. So the chocolate shake is definitely getting a four out of five stars. Good job, Keto Chow. Okay, so I'm in my car. I'm getting ready to go to church. I even got my seatbelt on, I'm ready to go. But before I do, I have my Keto Chow. This is the mocha flavor. I wanted to let you guys see me try it. It does have some caffeine in there, so I haven't I haven't had any coffee this morning, so this is my coffee, and I'll let you guys know how it works. So, here we goes. Here goes nothing. It kind of reminds me of coffee ice cream. That's exactly what it tastes like without the, the ice part. It's just like creamy, 
has a coffee flavor not overly coffee flavored but um it's good I, I use the heavy whipping cream with this one and I have to say it's it's decent I really like it it's mild though I, I would say the flavor is mild I hope it gives me the jolt I need to wake up and go to church ever <laughs> definitely gets um, a four star and so far everyone every every single one has been about four stars I'm very impressed that's a very high score for me um, I don't think anyone's ever gotten a five in my book so this is darn good yeah me personally I probably wouldn't get the mocha flavor to drink on a regular basis I'd probably get either the vanilla or the chocolate uh, so far I still have two more flavors the snickerdoodle and uh, what was the other flavor oh and the caramel one I can't wait to try that one so all right let's see what's next okay next is the snickerdoodle flavor I left this in my fridge overnight and I'm just gonna try it. I'm actually warming up my car because it's pretty chilly here in Jersey still so um I'm gonna try this. I always like the top so it doesn't leak on me so it smells like a shake I really can't I smell a hint of cinnamon maybe so I'm gonna give it a try I don't really I'm not really fond of snickerdoodle so I'm just gonna be very opinionated on this one so if you like snickerdoodle flavor uh, you might think differently let me just Hmm. Again, very creamy, uh, no grittiness, very smooth. Um, it's very, very good for snickerdoodle flavor. I'm not much of a snickerdoodle fan, but I have to say it's it's pretty good. Like so, um, I think any average person would give it at least four stars. So yeah, another four stars. Another four stars. We got one more to go. Last one, which is the salted caramel flavor, which I saved the best for last because I love salted caramel flavored anything. So I really wanted to try this one. I'm really excited and um, it looks really good. It's creamy, it smells good. Mm. Oh yes, oh yes. So I'm gonna try it. Beautiful texture again. Oh, the flavor is spot on. It's such a good caramel flavor. If you like caramel, this one has that nice salty caramel flavor, just slightly salted, not too much, but you definitely feel the caramel. You can feel it, you can smell it. It's there and it's good. So um, yeah, this is my favorite one by far. This is definitely the best one and I saved the best for last, so that's cool. So I'm going to give this one a five star because it's my favorite flavor and it's absolutely delicious. I give Keto Chow overall a five star, even though most of them are four star. I think anybody would really enjoy these shakes, whatever flavor you like. I mean, even if you're not sure which flavor you would like, I would say try what I did. Do the starter kit and just see like, you know, they give you all the flavors I had and, um, the starter bundle or whatever it's called it it, it does have you know all the, the flavors I showed you in this video and I mean why not try it and you get this really cute thing with it what do they call this thing a blender bottle <laughs> anyway I'd like to say thank you to all my new subscribers I got so many subscribers now I lost count I think I'm at like 1530 I don't know and counting every day I get more I just like to say thank you so so much for even considering subscribing to me I'm crazy so I really appreciate it God bless you guys and uh, yeah that's it for the video if you have any other comments or questions please list it down below in the comment section and if you're not subscribed to my channel and you want to be just subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want to see the videos first when I first upload them so thank you so much and whatever you do do it well. Bye-bye.